I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm back again with another video. Back again with another video. Back, back, back again with another video. So when you see this gorgeous and handsome face, might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So before I get into today's video, yet again, make sure you guys are wearing your mask when you go outside, inside stores and everything like that. So just trying to help out you guys, just trying to look out after you all. Just want to make sure y'all all staying safe in this crazy crazy time this pandemic that we're all going through we're all getting through this together one day at a time so with that being said guys i hope y'all had a fantastic uh ghastly community day i know i did i had to work so i had to kind of finesse my day uh i ended up getting actually 10 shiny ghastly which is not a really a bad catch day for me because like i said i was making that money so and that's something we all need right now because you all see what's going on in the job workforce today so Enough of that. Um, I also want to let you guys know before I jump into this video that um, GoFest. GoFest is going to actually be starting one minute later after 10 o'clock. So it's going to be 10.01. Uh, and I found that out by Pokeminers. Uh, so shout out to Pokeminers on Twitter. And also, they also are mentioning that uh, Niantic is now having Gengar uh, have its Shadow Punch, its Community Day move, uh, as a TM. Uh, so you can basically teach the move Shadow Punch to Gengar. So I also got that from Pokeminers. So that's pretty dope. Sh like, again, shout out to you, Pokeminers. So on Twitter, that is. So now with that being said, guys, we're going to jump into today's video. But we're not going to jump into this video now. But we're going to jump into this video right now. Let's go. Alright trainers, so in today's video we're going to be going back over Pokemon Go Fest which actually takes place this weekend. It's just to prepare you and to remind you of what's going on in that event. Also, I'm going to be talking about next month's Community Day, August Community Day, and to let you guys know uh, what Pokemon is actually in store for us for next month. But before we get into that topic, both those topics, uh, I just want to let uh, remind you guys that don't forget tomorrow nest change at 8 p.m. local time, and also I also want to remind you guys that spotlight hour is actually tomorrow from 6 to 7 p.m. local time. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into this video, and here we go. All right, trainers. So basically, the leak for. Uh, Pokemon and like I said, I'm guessing we're getting this for GoFest because I made a video something like this in my last video uh, Make sure you go watch that if you have not checked that out yet. But anyway, the leak was Shadow Mewtwo uh, Rocket Special Research, which Giovanni is going to be at GoFest New costume Pokemon, event stickers, and much more during GoFest 2020 All right, so it says Team Go Rocket Quest, a new Team Go Rocket special research, GoFest 2020, Rocket Straight to Victory, will be released during GoFest 2020, and it will be of six stages. So we have a special research consisted of six stages. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. So now we have something that will carry us throughout the time of us catching these great Pokemon. So that's good. You can also pause this video to see what these uh, texts are, because uh, I'm not going to read them all the way through. You just pause it and just read it. Now we're going to talk about Team Go Rocket Special Encounter. Now, it says start collecting rocket radars before GoFest 2020, which makes a lot of sense because you don't want to be doing that before, I mean, well, during GoFest because it'll slow you down, so you want to collect your rocket radars now. So you can prepare yourself for GoFest, and you can just jump right into everything that's offered here at GoFest. Now, 
New text dialogue have been found saying Team Rocket leaders have captured some flying legendary Pokemon on and turned them into shadow Pokemon. So, obviously, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres will be returning at Pokemon Go Fest. Like I mentioned before, I mentioned this uh, same thing, but I'm touching on it. Uh, for those of you that have not watched my last video, but still go watch my last video. You know what I mean? Support my video. Support this channel. But yeah, because there's some other things that I talked about that won't be in this video. So make sure you sure you go check that video out if you haven't already. So anyway, like I said, these three legendary birds are coming back. I don't know if they're going to be shadow shiny since all three birds can be shiny. Uh, but there's, they are coming back shadow, but I don't know if they're shadow shiny. So if they are shadow shiny, these are also going to be really rare to get. You want to get these. Uh, and it's going to take... Um, you know, make sure you have your remote raid passes also because you want to take down these legendary birds. And like I said, if they, especially if they're shadow shiny, so like they're going to be really rare. So make sure you have your passes and everything you, uh, that you need to take down these legendary birds. If you don't have them, then it's new for you. But anyhow, most people have it, some people don't. Anyway, it says we can expect the three legendary birds, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres from Team Go Rocket leaders. Okay, so if it's going to be from the Team Go Rocket leaders, then I guess you won't have to worry about raiding anything. But still have your your remote raid passes just in case there's other uh, legendary Pokemon or other Pokemon that's in the gyms that you don't have. So just still be ready with raid passes on hand just in case. Anyhow, so that's how you get um, the Shadow Legendary Birds because they're going to be from Team Go Rocket leaders. Now... With that being said, like I said uh, for the last one, just pause this and you can read this yourself. Uh, now we're going to be talking about Shadow Mewtwo. So, it appears that Giovanni has captured Mewtwo and turned it into Shadow Mewtwo. And you'll get the chance to rescue the Pokemon at GoFest 2020. So, it will be at GoFest. So, we're, gonna, we're getting Shadow Mewtwo. We already have Shiny Mewtwo in the game, Regular Mewtwo in the game, and Armored Mewtwo in the game. Now we're getting the shadow version. Now, since Mewtwo can be shiny, I don't know if it can be shadow shiny. Like I said, just make sure you have everything you need to get these Pokemon as they're going to be really, really, really rare. So, that's what it's going to look like. And uh, yeah, just be ready for it. Alright, so here it says, new costume Pokemon. New costume Pokemon asset have been found at this time. They are not Pikachu partially. So basically, at Go Fest, we're gonna actually be seeing um, hat, Pikachu hat, Bulbasaur, Pikachu hat, Charmander, and Pikachu hat, Squirtle. Which actually the hats are actually sun visors. Makes sense. Summertime sun visors. Uh, so this is something new. Even though people get tired of hats, but at least they're not on Pikachu. It's like Pikachu on other Pokemon's heads. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, it says new event stickers. Like I mentioned in my last video, I've talked about. I mean, like I mentioned, like I mentioned earlier, that uh, I mentioned this in my last video about the new stickers that's actually coming for the event. Uh, and it says new event exclusive Go Fest 2020 stickers have been found, and seems you only get the sticker if you're attending Go Fest 2020. All right, so this is basically what the stickers look like. So you see. Victini, the Niantic sticker, the Go Fest 2020 sticker, and the rest of the four that's down below. Now you got the Raid Stardust and XP bonus. Now new text for Raid Stardust and XP from today's view section has been found, suggesting some different Stardust and XP during Go Fest. So that's gonna be pretty cool to check out. So we get double XP, well double Raid Stardust and two times raid stardust and xp but they're saying that uh in the today's use section has been found suggesting some different stardust and xp so we have to basically see what that is what that means i don't know if, what they mean by different it could be a different color i don't know or they just mean that they're adding more stardust as you see here it says two times raid stardust so that's just something we gotta wait for uh, at Go Fest, but like I said, make sure you get in your ticket. Make sure you get your ticket. I'll say it again. Make sure you get your ticket if you're interested in Go Fest. If this is your first time ever, I advise you to get a 
go fetch ticket because this is only gonna be a once in a lifetime thing. Uh, and if not, we'll have to wait all the way until next year if you don't get your ticket. But that's up to you. So now with that being said, um, yeah, let's jump into the second part of this video before I wrap it up, and we're gonna be talking about next month's August Community Day, and we'll talk about what Pokemon is at hand. All right, trainers, so basically this is the last part of the video. So basically it says Pokemon Go August and September Community Day voting list. So this is gonna be the list for not just August, but for September as well. So it's Caterpie, Charmander, Grimer, and Porygon. Now some people saying that this has been data mined in the past and it might have, because I believe I've heard some, something like this. But for those of you that don't know, this is what's uh, being put out there. So. Yeah, Caterpie, Charmander, Grimer, and Porygon. Alright, so. Caterpie is a three-part evolution. Charmander is a three-part evolution. Meanwhile, Grimer is a two-part evolution. Alolan Grimer is a two-part evolution. And Porygon is a three-part evolution. So, being that Charmander, this is just my idea... Uh, we're not going to get Charmander Community Day because we have already had that. Grimer and Alolan Grimer, we've never had a two-part evolution except for just Pikachu and Pikachu the star of the show. And Pokemon in general, so that's the only uh, Pokemon that's had a second evolution that we had a Community Day of. And it was the first start of Community Day. So, technically that's all that's left is Caterpie and Porygon Community Day because a three-part evolution. They never had a community day, just even though Caterpie Shiny is already out, we still haven't had that evolution. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know this too. With Caterpie, um, it's a bug type, which I'm sure you already know. But remember, Weedle was actually for, um, what was it? July? It was June. It was for June community day. And then July community day, we had Ghastly. So I believe the bug type Caterpie is actually going to go first. And then Porygon is going to come for September. So yeah, Caterpie for August, Porygon for September. I would like Porygon first, but I'm thinking this is how Niantic might do it. Save the best for last, like for, like when he released, get ready to release Gen 6, which is like in September. So it'll be something new with new Pokemon so that's just my idea of what's going on uh, and my idea of what Niantic might do as far as this community day so Caterpie number one Porygon number two now it says from July to July you'll be able to vote for the Pokemon you'd like to feature via Twitter the two Pokemon that receive the most votes will go on to be featured during the next community days with the Pokemon with the most votes featured in August and the runner-up in September All right, now there seems to be more with this because now you get to choose for October and November Community Day. So, the voting list is as follows. Bulbasaur, Execute, Magikarp, and Starly. Now, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever that we are definitely getting Starly Community Day. I mean, because that's a brand new shiny in Pokemon Go. Um... So that might be coming in like October or some maybe November, depending. But let's see. Remember, Magikarp is a two-part evolution Pokemon. Executor is, or Execute is a two-part evolution. So they're, that, they're not going to have a community day. Which, by the way, Bulbasaur is a three-part evolution. So we're going to get uh, Bulbasaur community day all over again. And Starly... Um, is going to be a part of the community day. So, we're probably getting Bulbasaur for October and Starly for November. Now, if, I mean, me personally, I'll still probably take part in Bulbasaur community day. Then again, I probably won't because we have all already had it. But, I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. But that's probably what's going to happen. And don't forget Mega Evolutions is coming out. So, they want to ready everybody up. That's why they put out Bulbasaur because... A lot of people have missed community days, which 
is a good idea. And like I said, Mega Evolutions will be coming really soon. So like I said, they readying, Niantic is readying everyone for that Mega Venusaur. So that's pretty tight. So, yeah. So Starly and Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Starly. So I'll say October is Bulbasaur. And I'll say November is Starly. And then after which, Niantic probably is going to start slowly by... Surely, but slowly starting to release uh, two-part evolution uh, Pokemon and have them at, so they can have their community days as well. So that's just my idea. That's just my take. Uh, but take it with a grain of salt because nothing is really, you know, put out there yet. It's nothing set in stone uh, by Niantic. So uh, basically it says here from September to September you'll be able to vote for Pokemon. Basically what I just read before, so I'm not going to go into this. Alright, so it's here it says, Note, Niantic and Pokemon Go made changes in the GM file, and this is the latest data mine. Which Pokemon would you vote for to see during the next Community Day events? Let us know in the comment section below. So, I just let you guys know. I mean, you can take this with a grain of salt. Like I said, nothing is set in stone, but that's just my idea. And I want to let you guys know that also. So, Caterpie... Bulbasaur, Starly, and, and Porygon. So, those are going to be my ideas of Pokemon that everybody's going to choose come Go Fest. I mean, because it's kind of unanimous. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. So, if you like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, sub. Share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Comment down below. Smack a like on this video. Turn post notifications on so you be the first to get my up first to get my videos when I upload. Make sure you press the notification bell so you be, be the first to get my videos when I uh, also upload. I think I just said that, but you guys get it. Um, but yeah, and as always, guys, peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay humble, and uh, put up God first. And I'm out.